politics is such a jaded environment sometimes, and he always brought humanity to the work um, every day. He was a, a, a political intellect, but he was also a man of great heart. He is an exemplary public servant. He wasn't there for ego. He wasn't there to make a million dollars. Uh, he was there to make a difference. And he did in every role, as a state legislator, as insurance commissioner, as attorney general, as a Supreme Court justice, and most impressively as governor. Ted had an impact on this state for the good. I think anybody who, uh, who talks with Ted hears more about the wisdom he learned from the nuns in the orphanage, what he learned as a Marine, what he learned as a labor lawyer on the front lines of uh, union negotiations. Those experiences built this amazing um, drive and resiliency, um, but also a feeling of being a part of something bigger. You do the right thing, and that doing the right thing is not necessarily the easy thing, his life growing up and the challenges he faced, but the opportunity that he was given because of other people. Someone gave him a hand up and, a, and some confidence that he could follow his dreams. And so I think he just felt there was a bigger calling. And if he had the opportunity to give back and make life better for someone else, he was gonna do that. But he has served with a depth of character. I recall vividly going with Governor Kulingowski to some of the services, the memorial services for our fallen service people. When he knelt down in front of the grieving widow or the grieving mother to present a flag of the state of Oregon and posthumous decorations, he did so not as the governor of the state of Oregon. He did so as a father, a grandfather, a human being, and above all, a Marine. He will be remembered in Oregon's history as the soldier's governor. Protecting the Metolias, universal access for healthcare for kids, a new state park every year. Oregon became known for its educational attainment goal, 40, 40, 20, and how to increase the educational uh, mobility and economic prosperity of our citizens. He's the only governor uh, of our state who had to deal with two recessions. His leadership on PERS reform, those reforms had to be made. It must have been very hard for him personally uh, with his connections and his friendships, but he stayed the course. And now as a former governor who continues to be in the arena and continues to try to get things done for the good of this state, whether it's teaching next generation, which he does at Portland State. He serves on the board now of the, of the Warm Springs tribe. He is a true statesman. He helped to secure passage of Measure 98 in the 2016 election. He worked most recently securing PERS reforms, very difficult thing, second time in his career he had to take on that hard issue. And in fact, he didn't have to take it on, he chose to. So to me, he sets an example of you know, kind of like Jimmy Carter did after he was president, of public service continuing after you hold office. This is what we need in our politics today. We're missing people like Ted, who can take a strong stand, as he did on the purse issue, going against his base, but still reach out to the other side and say, what can we work together on, as he did with the workers' comp reforms. I'm very proud of him. I mean, he has worked incredibly hard, and. He's contributed so much. I'm truly lucky and grateful for him. And he would always come down in a place that, that after careful thought and deliberation really, really mattered for the greater good. As a public servant and as a statesman, you couldn't ask for more. It's a perfect description of Ted Kulingoski. When you look at his life and a career, when you look at all he's done for this state. We find that opinion throughout Oregon, no matter what your political affiliation is, that people view Ted Kulongoski as not only a good governor, but a good person, a good man, and it's because he cared, he, and that showed through in everything he did. He would reach out to anyone and really try to find common ground. He sets a really high bar for what it means to be a leader in this state. His legacy will endure, but it will endure mostly because of the kind of character that he exhibited in every aspect of his life.